Hello, welcome again. Uh, I'm here, Adnan, and in today's episode, uh, we'll go through Azure Sentinel for Office 365, as we have seen in the previous video. I did some demos, and one of the demo for Office 365 didn't work. So today, we'll try it again and see uh, how we can leverage Azure Sentinel for Office 365. And the reason is that I'm doing it just for Office 365 because data ingestion is free. It doesn't mean you cannot do for other uh, network devices or other uh, VMs. For example, you can use Syslog. You can bring in uh, the data from other services, even from your on-prem. So I kind of defined all these things, uh, high level overview in my previous video. But today, basically, if you are running Office 365, then there is no reason why not to use this. So that's being said, we'll go through it. And why especially or specifically in Office 365? Um, because you're already pretty much using the service. Ingestion is free. So it's really win-win um, because you lose nothing and you get better insight. And uh, also, if you want to talk about um, different organization where people have different roles and responsibilities, so you may not necessarily need to be a, uh, a global administrator uh, for Office 365 to read this data because you are a security administrator. And once your configuration and setup is done for data ingestion, uh, you don't really need those um, uh, root level access. You can just uh, get away with this uh, security admin. So I'm here at the dashboard. And just again, it's a uh, dashboard, office activity, usage, and some of the mass downloads. So we'll look into that, what's going on in my Office 365 live tenant for the last few days. So as I said, data connectors, everything I explained to you in my previous video, you can go take a look. Uh, but here, I'm here in the workbook. And from the workbook, I have set up already eight workbooks. So I'll go each of them, uh, like eight, I have set up eight. So in each and every episode, I will try to cover one or maybe one workbook may take more or two videos. So I don't know, but you keep coming back, subscribe my channel so you will get notified. And if you press the bell icon. So today what I'm going to do now is I have Exchange Online and I have Office 365 and SharePoint and OneDrive. So it looks obvious that you can individually look at the Exchange Online by tracing and analyzing all the Exchange operation and user activities. And if you come here, it's talking about OneDrive activities. And then in Office 365 is everything Office 365. So I think it's better for this video We'll look into Office 365 today and the video after we will look into Exchange Online and the SharePoint. So let's start and look at the template and we'll be able to have more uh, detailed reporting around that. So it's not showing any data. So let me just uh, go and select all, um, select all Exchange OneDrive and all that stuff. So I got to select, I can individually select from here either way. And then showing me by default for 90 days. And this is super awesome. I like it. I love it because, again, I don't want to go to Exchange Portal and configure PowerShell. It's right here in just one single dashboard. I have what I need. A modify folder permission, set CAS mailbox permission. Again, if you, even it's helpful for exchange administrator or SharePoint, not necessarily for a security because security do require, let's say if you have to audit these kind of stuff, uh, that's uh, really important. But again, uh, whichever the case you are dealing with or what you need, it shows um, all activities, April. Um, if you can look here, let me just show you. Um, yeah, April around 9 a.m. and I have this many exchange related stuff, OneDrive and SharePoint and activities by workload. If you look at here, activities by type, file type, 2000 file types, and we can dig into more um, update, create and delete activities. Here's a chart, nice, beautiful. And then we have group activities here, user activities per week, 
folder changes, folders created, modify folder permission is important one. So if you uh, monitor and if your folder permission in your organization, for example, for the last 14 days or 30 days, it's pretty much thousand or 2000 and all of a sudden there's a jump for 10 X, then you have to be concerned about. So you really will be learning as you go on with this. And then you can learn, okay, this is what it looks like normal in my organization. And if it's something unexpected happens, suspicious happens, then, you know, it makes sense. So for me, I have only a few users. So 10, 20, 30, you know, they would be normal. If I have this number in thousand, then I'll be concerned about it. Same thing here with the file changes. So you have to use your common sense uh, when you're putting this. And then uh, as you go on, learn the product, you will have very good understanding. So as I said before, this is a 360 degree view, bird's eye view of your whole tenant in this particular case of Office 365. Uh, you can see all this information, as you can see on the screen, exchange admin, exchange set conditional access policies, uh, move to deleted items, you know, uh, all that stuff you can sort them record type for example let's try this one i'm doing this i can do by time generated how many six a record type generated for example and then here's another one uh by user so here's my friend of mine from uk he accessed this so he's an external account that's looked like i gave him some access for the file so he's been doing a lot of activities from uk um file viewed file extend upload he did upload yes file access and all that this stuff now if i go myself here let's see what's activity in my account so you can see soft delete i have deleted i was cleaning up my mailbox move to deleted items uh, file views so that's pretty awesome you know and you don't have to do it for every member in your organization but again if you have a cxo suite high profile user you may want to look into that and understand um sharepoint and onedrive stuff is here as i told you before file previews access um file by downloads uh, upload extensions so it's pretty awesome so i would say just give it a try if you have in your tenant uh, go for it uh, ingestion is free and you're gonna love it this is pretty awesome so that's being said in the next episode we'll talk about more different features and capabilities and do subscribe my channel uh, follow me on twitter and press the ring bell icon for future updates as i said before i'll be putting more and more videos around um, security as a whole in a uh, um uh, azure around azure security uh, identity protection and of course sentinel you'll see a lot thanks for tuning in and bye